Hey guys, I'm back and I'm here to discuss something a little bit different and even though right now the Shallon Lester situation is still going on and I'm surprised she's still releasing videos but that's going to be for another day, another time but I want to talk about something very different from what I would talk about and it's not about the latest drama, it's about the drama that we all grew up with and growing up I am from Los Angeles and Back in the day, I would watch KSCI, which is LA Team, which is not there anymore, unfortunately. But I still have memories of watching the dram dramas back in the day, back when I was from a kid to a teenager to an adult. But anyway, there are dramas that I personally like, and I feel like they're still in people's memory. They're still in everyone's spirits and... I still remember them till this day and you can still find these dramas on YouTube just Google them and just look for the just look for the title and then there you can watch it some dramas may not be there and sometimes you're gonna have to find it on Yoku, Aichi or even Vicky if if they have them though but these are dramas that a lot of us remember from way back then Especially my transition from teenager to adult. And it's definitely worth it. Please check them out whenever you can. Alright. So the first drama that I'm going to talk about is Yongjung Dynasty. Which is a drama based. Aired in 1999. And it was done by Tang Guo Chang and Jiao Huang. Who are very renowned actors in China. And it talks about the the trials of Emperor Yongzheng during the Qing Dynasty. Next drama is... Because I have a very long list here which one I would list these dramas out but... Is... Shao Nian Bao Qing Tian which talks about the, the life of Bao Zheng aka Justice Bao when he was younger and it talks about Gong Sun Tse and... Oh, I forgot the name. I forgot Zhan Zhao, who would become a trio that everybody would watch. And it talks about them in their younger years. And it had three seasons. But the most remember one is the first season, which starred Ren Chuan. It has Shi Xiao Long back when he was young. When he was young. And it's a classic. The Grand Man Mansion Gate, Da Zai, da zai Man. Or Da Zai Man. Forgive me, I'm not the best in pronunciation, which talks about the rise and fall of a prominent family during from the right from the fall of the Qing Dynasty to the Republic. And did you know that Chen Kaiga and Zhang Yimou were in this drama? Made some special guest appearance. Palace of Desire, Da Ming Gong Si, which talks about the trials and the relationship that Princess Taiping and Empress Wu have. And also discusses not just her relationships. It's very complex, intriguing, and it has so much richness based on the, on just Tang Dynasty poetry, literature. It's a well-made drama. It starts Gui Yale, who's a renowned actress in Taiwan and China. And it has Chen Hong and Zhou Shen playing Princess Taiping. Zhou Shen would play her in her younger years and Chen Hong would play her in her adult years. And it's a very amazing drama. It has the late Fu Biao who will be remembered for many years. And even though he is no longer here. But it's a very talented, very talented cast. as Winston Chao, Zhao Wenchuan. And it's, one of, it's an amazing, beautiful drama. And even though it's hard to find episodes. Which one, anyone can recommend it to me. Any, if I can watch them, I'll be delighted. Anyway, another drama that I love is Symphony of Rain or Love Story in Shanghai, whichever you see it as Li Xiao Ran, Cheng Ken, Luo Hai Chong, Sun Hong Lei, Liao Fan. It's talks about it's a, it's about love it's about a love story and it's a beautifully well made drama, which not only has chemistry but it's a well made cast. It's a well-made story. Great casting. What else can I say? Alright. April Rhapsody stars Huang Lei. In which one he will be enthralled in 
in three with three women who were Yi Nangjing, Renee Liu, and Zhou Shun. And the theme song is sung by Sandy Lam. It's an incredible drama that you have to watch. It is well remembered by everybody. And another drama that I love is Eloquent Ji Xiaolan or The Bronze Teeth, the first season, which has Zhang Tielin, Zhang Guoli, and Wang Kang. Which one Zhang Guoli would play Ji Xiaolan and it would start a, a trio which would be which are still remembered till this day and they would star in several dramas together back in the day. It's it's hilarious also has Cynthia Khan. If you don't remember she's a very well known actress in Hong Kong has done a lot of martial arts films and dramas from back in the day. And even though she recently started a drama with Lee Sheng and Gao Yanxiang, which his history let's we're gonna have to leave it out for a while. But it's an incredible drama and it's a drama worth watching. Next on my list is, and I'm looking for my list because I made one myself, please forgive me, Kang Shi Wang Cha, which talks about Emperor Kang Shi. He's reign during the Qing Dynasty, which is considered a prequel to Yongzheng Dynasty, and it stars Chen Dao Ming and Si Chen Gao Hua. It's an amazing drama. It's, it's incredible, and it has so much history and so much, and talks about his achievements, so many things. It's forever a classic. All right, next on my list is Yang Men Ne Jiang, which start, which has a, such a great cast as Cheng Pei Pei, Carmen Lee, Therese, Teresa Lee, Andrew Lee, and Roger Kwok. And the list goes on and on and on, but it is talks about the trials of the Yang family, especially the women of the, the women who would become strong warriors. And it has so much in it. It takes place in the Song Dynasty. And if you know about the Yang family, they are in everywhere. But this one is a drama I grew up with. And it's forever in the hearts of people. Shout Ao Jiang Hu 2001. Which one? I really fell in love with the version. It has such a great feel to it. It has such elements of wuxia. And it's based on Xiao Ao Jiang Hu by Jin Yong and it would have several versions one of them was done in the 80s by TVB 1996 by TVB again which is the best version of them all which one this version and then there's one in 2013 and 2019 which just avoid them while you can which I won't go into it but the but the 2001 version is the one I grew more attached with and it's a great drama it has Li Ya Peng which would be Fei Wong's ex-husband in which as Shu Qing who's an amazing actress Miao Yi Yi Wei Zi it's an incredible drama if you want to watch it it has Zhang Zhizhong's name in it which one he would be creating some of the most popular but sometimes great sometimes not so great dramas Wuxia dramas of the past decades, which one, if we all be, hopefully he does come back soon, but I don't know what's going on, but anyway, next up is Da Tang Qing Shi, which is the love story of Tang Dynasty, which imagine if you were a princess during that period and you fell in love with a monk. It's a great drama, Shen Ao Zhan, it has Tang Guo Qiang, and it's one of the best drama one of the best dramas it takes place again in the Tang Dynasty as I said earlier and go check it out and Google it all right next on my list is Da Han Tianzi which talks about about the Emperor Han Wu back in the day when he was younger as he learns the importance of the, as he goes on a journey to who how how he would become come the emperor? It was spawned into three seasons, but I'm gonna talk about the first season, which has Huang Xiaoming, Chen Daoming, Jia Jingwen, Chen Shali, Chen Zhehan, and go check it out. And next on my list is Qianlong Dynasty, which talks about Emperor Qi Yanlong as Jiao Huang, Lisa Lu, who is one of the most incredible actresses. She's was in films a lot. 
in so many projects which one give it a chance and it's based on the trilogy of on the trilogy which is Yong Jung Chen Kang Shi and Chen Long Dynasty era which was amazing all right next on my list is Li Wei Dangguan Li Wei as an official it had two seasons and starts Zhu Zheng which now he is a he's a film he does films and has produced and many things it talks about the times and how he would rise to becoming an official next up on my list is Xiao Zhuang epic and it has Ning Jing's Ma Jing Tao has Si Cheng Gawa and has Liu De Kai if you don't know this talks about her the story of Empress Xiao Zhuang and how she, her relationships would collide with the beginning of the Qing Dynasty. All right, next up on my list is Tianlong Babu, which has Jimmy Lin, Hu Zhen, Liu Tao, Liu Yifei, Jiang Xin. It is based on Jin Yong's Tianlong Babu, which would be adapted in many times. One in 1982 by TVB, one in 1997 yet again by TVB. The 2003 version, the 2013, which was a complete. Let's just say it was interesting, <laughs> and, and let's say it's a very infamous one, and they're remaking it again, probably either by this year or next year. But I won't give it much expectations on it. But this drama is done yet again by Zhang Ji Zhang Ji Zhong, and it's a great act, great drama. It has a wonderful sub theme song, which I fell in love with. Has, which is sung by Fei Wong and if you remember the story of Tianlong Babu and the, how the three characters would ally which is Duan Yi, Shu Ju and let's see here and Chao Feng slash Xiao Feng and it's an amazing drama please go check it out another drama is Jin Fen Shi Jia and it has Chen Ken Dong Jie, Liu Yi Fei and and how he's torn in a love triangle between two women during the Republican era. It's such a beautifully well-made drama. It's it's done by a great director who has recently passed away, Li Da Wei. Go check it out. It's a beautiful drama. And it is Paradise, which a drama I grew up watching, and it's fun to watch as Ada Choi, Max Jang, Yu Bo, Norman Chu. And it's such and you have to go watch it for yourself. And it also spawned a sequel, which is Legend of the Magic Mirror, a year later. And next up is... I'm basing it on my list, so please look into it. It talks about Ni Shui Han, which stars Wallace Chung. Chung Chi Lam. And, and it's a very impressive drama. It It is one of the books on Si Da Ming Bu. It's has a lot of great fighting scenes the chemistries there and oh let's not forget Li Xiao Ran as well it is wonderful and it is so brilliant that you need to watch it for yourself to enjoy this ride another drama that I liked was Shui Zi Zanyang which won even though I I still am trying to remember much details as Lili Chun, who is one of the best actors out in from Taiwan, and it is very interesting. It can be a bit; ha it's pretty haunting. And if you Google it, it is one of it's a drama that I remember. Which one? Ugh, I don't know. I'm trying to regain that memory, but I'll look back into it as Tian Sha Di Yi, the world's finest drama that I fell in love with as Roger Kwok. Li Ya Peng, and it has Michelle Ye, Damien Lau, Wallace Ho, Dicky Chung. It's a starlit cast. It's it is amazing. It talks about it has such scenes such as alliances, friendships, betrayals. If you want a drama that has all the spice and action, I suggest you f watch it. Chinese Palana, which one I won, <laughs> which. Talks about the adventure of Li Xiaoyao. It's based on a PC game and it's one of the most remembered dramas 
of all time as Huga Liao Yi Fei An Ni Xuan Peng Yu Yan Liao Pin Yan and the list can go on and on. It is one of, it is a classic and if you remember the theme songs, it is amazing. The CGI it is out of this world. Please watch it. It's produced by Tong Ren, which I forgot to say it earlier, but anyway, another drama that I loved is Moment in Peking, which is based on a on the novel as it talks about a young woman and her husband and how their families form and how she would have an amazing bond with the in-laws. It's an amazing drama. It talks about after the Qing Dynasty during and to the Republic. It stars Zhao Wei, Pan Yuan Ming, Huang Wei De, Pan Hong, Chen Bao Guo, Wang Kang. It is a beautifully made drama. Though there was one made in 2013 which wasn't that good which don't watch it but it's a really beautiful drama and it was long before this there's one made in the 80s bait on it starred Angie Cho it is a wonderful drama I suggest everyone to watch it Han Wu Dadi which is based on the lifetime of Emperor Han, Emperor Wu of Han it has Chen Bao Guo, it has Gui Ya Lei. It is wonderfully well done. If you want a drama that has impact, a lot of relationships, it talks about so many things during the Han period. And this drama also has been based on several books, such as Shi Jin. It is wonderful. I don't want to give too much details, but it is recommended. Another drama that I forgot to mention was Towards the Republic, which is based on the opinions of Sun Yat-sen, Emperor, Emperor Sitsi. Even though it's been infamous and had issues with censorship during its airing, but it's still remembered till this day. And it is one of the best dramas around. It has a 9.7 rating on Doban. Please watch it. It's highly recommended. Even though none of these dramas are made anymore, but I would, if you guys want to watch it, it is brilliant. And whew, let's see here, Da Song Ti Xing Guan, which is Dead Men Do Tell Tales. It starts He Bing Luo Hai Chong Mia Pu and the late great Wu Ma. It is based on Song Zi's life and talks about his late adult, his early to mid adulthood. And how he would investigate cases and foreign and his involvement in forensics during the Song period. It had spawned a second season with Wang Qingxiang as he is of middle age. A great drama, a well enacted, well portrayed. It is forever a classic RX. Jiang Shan Feng Yu Qing, which is the affair of the Swing Age, which talks about the period of the ending of Ming, beginning of Qing. It has people that you would know like Emperor Shenzi, Li Di Cheng, Chen Yuan Wen. It is wonderful. It has Chen Bao Guo playing a guest star. It has Chen Dao Ming, Wang Kang. It is wonderful. I suggest everyone to watch it. All right. The drama that I loved was Gu Lianhua, which is Love Lone Flower, which stars Angelica Lee and Anita Yuan. And it talks about two women who have shared an amazing bond, even to romance. It's beautifully well made. And it's so wonderful. I suggest everyone to buy it. It's only 16 episodes. It is one of the best LGBT related dramas out here in Taiwan and one of my favorites all right another drama that I loved was The Little Fairy in, which has Ariel Lin, Hu Ge, Bobby Do, Ji Do Je Kong, Han Shui, it is one it has Tse Kwan Ho and the list goes on and on but it talks about Xiao Qi which is the seventh fairy of the seven fairy sisters and her romance between Dong Yong and the adventure she would have. It is produced once again by Tong Ren, which 
I suggest everyone to watch it. All right, another drama that I also fell in love with is Kai Chuang Sheng Shi, which would begin the ending of the Sui Dynasty and it would transition to Tang Dynasty. It is a masterpiece as Shen Xiao Hai, who who's a really great actor, even though I feel like he deserves more, is just my opinion. Another drama is Chen Tian Hou Mu Xin, which stars Liu Xie Hua and talks about her mo a mother's devotion to her children, especially during the Republican era, which would start a very young Wu Lei. And it is beautiful, and the song, it is so amazing, and you'll fall in love with it. It's sweet, endearing, and beautiful. And I forgot to mention Shen Tan Di Ren Jie, which has hearts Lian Guan Hua, which would spawn into five seasons, but the I love the four seasons of this drama and talks about a lot of the cases, a lot of situations and the complex relationship he has with Emperor Wu which, or Wu Zetian which is done by Lu Zhong which is who's a great actress and it has such an amazing cast even if you don't know them though but it is forever in the hearts of people everywhere. Another drama that I love is Zheng Wan Ji Zhi which takes place in the Tang Dynasty. It has a great actor from Taiwan. It's called Jin Shi Jie and has Miao Pu. And even though you may not know 10 or 5% of the cast, but it it is a great drama as it's of sheer brilliance, very well well executed. I suggest everyone to watch it. It is 50 episodes and it is amazing all right another drama that i am looking on my list is sigh of his highness which starts chum bao guo yuan li who i really feel like we need her again because she's such a great actress who i would love to see her come back and it stars and it takes place during the qing dynasty during the empress Shi zixi period and it talks about prince gong and his rise and fall all right, another drama that I am looking in on my list is Chao's Grand Courtyard, Chao Jia Da, and which would start Chen Jian Bin and Jiang Qingqin, who are hap who are married now. Also has Ma Yili Ni Da Hong, and it ha it talks about the history of the Chao's of the court famous Chao's Grand Courtyard, directed by Hu Mei, who did direct Yongjing Dynasty, Han Wu Dadi, and it's. An incredible historical drama and the theme song is such magnificence which I suggest everyone to buy Li Wei Zi Guan which takes place now Li Wei as on in as someone in his 50s to 60s and as it says Li Wei's resignation which it is a well-made drama. It has Paul Chun, Derek Wan. You know Derek Wan from TBB back in the day. But it is forever an incredible drama, which I suggest everyone to watch. The sub-theme song is still in my head till this day. Go check that out. Another drama that I am looking in is... Da Ming Wang Chao 1566, which talks about Hairui and the Jiajing Emperor. It is one of, if not the best historical dramas out there in China. It has Chen Bao Guo, Ni Da Hong, Huang Zhe Zhong. The, it is of sheer magnificence. It is one of the greatest historical dramas of all time. All right, and it the next drama that I'm going to talk about is The Great Revival, which talks about the trust of Go Jian, especially after losing his own country, being a slave. And if you go back in the Zhou Dynasty, especially during the, the spring and autumn, all the way to the warring states, his impact on how he would start from going up, down, and then going up again. It is an incredible drama. It's Chen Daoming and Hu Jun. 
it is beautifully well done and it is amazing the next drama that i would, that i recommend is jin han which starts Zhang Guoli and Jiang Wenli who is one of the best actresses out there as well it talks about a marriage of 50 years which would span from from the tr transition of of the country in the 50s all the way to 2007 it is 50 episodes each episode is a year and it is beautifully well made if you want to watch about a couple from young to old it is beautiful Tian Mi Mi which is based on the famous song by Teresa Tang or Deng Li Jun as we all know her as and it starts Sun Li and Deng Chao who are now a power couple in China it is talks about a love story and class divisions about two people from two different worlds and it is beautiful it is a beautiful drama. And did you know that Teresa Tang was banned in China? Which is quite interesting. And it, there's a story drama. There's a movie based on that as well. Which is Comrades Almost a Love Story. In 1996. A year after Teresa Tang's death. Which rocked the whole Chinese community. Alright. Another drama that I love is... Woo. Let's see here. Chang Guangdong, which is the road to north southeastern northeastern China. Please forgive me. It is directed by Kong Sheng, who will later on direct Nirvana in Fire and Like a Flowing River. It talks about the transition uh, from the Qing Dynasty to the Republic, especially looking at the other side of the other sides of China and the regional language and it is just amazing even though you may not know the cast but it will be remembered for its amazing value all right another drama that I like is Bai Nian Rong Bao Jai which talks about in a, about a shop that would be remembered and it's still there till this day and it talks about the 100th anniversary of this shop and it has na na remember shang jia yi liu pei qi and it is incredible even if you don't know much of the cast but that's okay and ching cheng zhi lian and it ha it's based on the book of ailing chang it was done in movies it talks about a wonderful love story which has Chen Xu which even though not a lot of people may not know that name but it is such a great drama I suggest everyone to watch it Four Generations Under One Roof which is based on the book of Lao Shi and it talks about a family who was dealing during the war and it's incredible. Even though there's a much older drama, it was based in 1985. But it is a great drama. It has Jiang Qing Chen in it, has Yuan Cho, which if you remember her from the movie from from the fight from the U from the U from the UN. But um but alright, let me just stop at this because I feel like I'm talking a lot. But anyway, it is an amazing drama, an amazing remake. Of the 1985 version. I suggest everyone to go check it out. Chinese Paladin 3. Which would be the continuation of Chinese Paladin. But it is on the third story. And it would have Huga playing. Being once again the lead. And has a much different cast. Which now they're stars now. With Yang Mi, Tang Yan, Wallace Huo. Well, it is spawned. All right, let me just, sorry, I must pause, but it is an amazing drama if you want to watch an adventure. And the theme song, though, it's really cool. And I suggest everyone to watch it, and it's so amazing. It is, the next one it is, Lurk, starring Son Hong Lei, and it has espionage spy, especially in the Republican era. It is one of the greatest dramas out there if you want to watch something 
that has a lot of amazing it has a lot of impact a lot of act a lot of let's just say sporadic gen genuinity which i'm not the best at pronouncing words so please forgive me <laughs> all right another drama that i love it is the it is Woju which talks about buying a home and the struggles of buying a home especially here in China and it is it is a great cast as Han Hai Ching Zhang Jia Yi as the incredible Vivian Wu and it is one of the best dramas out there especially at the end of two especially around 2009 and it has been aired many times and the theme song though gets to you it's very realistic, well portrayed, and well acted. All right, please forgive me. I'm shaking my camera, but I'm so excited. And I just can't hide it. The Chin Empire, which talks about the Chin State, especially during the Zhou Dynasty, as Wang Jifei, Ga Yan Yan, Shu Huan, Lili Chan, Shu Huan Shan. It is an amazing drama that would spawn two more seasons which I will go in the next video all right this will be the first part of a series of draw a series of my favorite dramas and yet we still have many more in the next video I hope everyone gets a chance to watch it and if there's if you need any feedback from me or if you want to at least ask me anything Please let me know and if and in case of anything, in case if I'm doing something wrong, if in case you want me to improve in many things, I always welcome criticism, I always welcome feedback, and yet I will I will let you guys know. You know what I like to have surprises, so I will post my next video, which be prepared for it. And there is a part two of my favorite dramas, and I suggest everyone to have a wonderful day. Please stay safe. Please make sure to practice social distancing and make sure to wash your hands because of coronavirus. It is real. Just like Cardi B say, says, Coronavirus! Shit is real! Coronavirus! All right. Have a wonderful day. Day. Bye. Ascari Navarro. Drama key.